In this video, let's go through an often forgot command in Civil 3D. One of my colleagues was watching me struggle with trying to produce boundaries in a previous video, and he reminded me of a tool that I had totally forgotten about. And this one is called Line Work Shrink Wrap. And what it will do is it, it will allow you to create a boundary around any series of objects and pretty dang quickly. Now, over here, I just got a bunch of 2D rectangles. And if I execute the command called line work shrink wrap and select the objects, and I hit enter, you will see that it created a polygon polyline all the way around the objects in question. So if I wanted to hatch all that one, one thing, if I was using boundary, it wouldn't have worked or else I would have had to trace over it. So this example over here, let's say this was a roadway and we were getting ready to hatch it for some reason. So we could run the same command. I'm just going to hit the up key. And rather than having to close those two ends in like I used to, I could just select it, hit enter, and it produces it. Now, and this will work on civil objects. So just another example of a bunch of maybe what you would call parcels. I've just got these drawn, but it works on civil objects. So once again, whoops. Select them, hit enter. And now I can use that to create hatch of all of those if I wanted to. Now, a word of caution, these two lines here are 3D polys. I can run the command on 3D polys. Before I do that, let's change these colors real fast so you can see what's six and happen. I'll just change them to blue. So let's run the command. I'll select them and I'll hit enter and see what it did. It created a polygon, but it was trying to interpolate these elevations. So you end up with this weird offset object. So if you end up running the command on 3D objects or 3D polys, keep that in mind to go through and audit what you drew so that uh, you can make sure it's exactly what you want it to be. So I can take these and pull them over if I wanted to, although that didn't seem to play nice. But um, keep that in mind. So that's it for line work. Rink wrap. Really cool, really quick tool for when you're trying to get objects inside of objects. So if I drew a rectangle here and a rectangle like this, and I do line work. Whoops. Let's do line work shrink wrap. Let's select these two. Let's see what happens. Notice that it only drew it on the outside. It did not draw a donut. So keep that in mind when you're trying to do create your boundaries. You can still run a boundary command, but you end up having to have closed areas. Line work shrink wrap just lets you find it where you got the unions multiple and saves you a little bit of time with closing out. If you like this video, please click the like button. Feel free to subscribe.